Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today I just figured to uh, make a new vlog about my life here as a BCIT student in Vancouver. Because uh, I recently just uploaded a new video which my mom uh, took a flight to uh, New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. And now I figured might as well, you know, just bring back the vlogs and kind of show you how my life has been going here in Canada and kind of show you, introduce you to my uh, new classmates. So uh, for all you wondering out there, uh, BCIT AME program, Aircraft Maintenance Engineering program is a 16 month program. It's a four term course and every term there's two levels. So like there's eight levels in total. So I'm now on level seven, which leads me up to only one more level left in my fourth term, which leads me up to graduation in August. Like level one taught us how to use tools. Level two, engines, piston engines. Level three, hydraulics and landing gears. Level four, electricity. Level five is turbine engines. Level six is helicopters. My car is over there, by the way. Level seven is, right now is instruments and like electronics and stuff. Avionics, I mean. So yeah, level eight will be practically like a simulation of like, what are we gonna do in the real world? So yeah. That has been my journey, and now we're off to school. Uh, yep, I drive to school, because if I take the bus, it'll take me an hour and a half, just because there's only one bus going to uh, Richmond, which is near the airport. And as you have known from a video that I'm going to link right now here, uh, I went to BCIT for an orientation, and I took the bus going there. It's like 4, bus 4.30, and it took me an hour and a half, especially for rush hour. Right. But exit. yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now we'll see how it goes. Life of a BCIT student. So here is my school. I've been here for more than a year now. And here is our hangar in the back. This is where we work on for level 7 and level 8. We usually work outside and not in the shop anymore. And they're doing run-ups. That is cool. You get to see a run-up. PT6, we did that for level 5. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. The PT6 is uh, blowing up. But yeah, I just want to say that a couple times during my stay here in BCIT, there's a, like there's like few students who came up to me and said, "Yo, dude, I saw you on YouTube. I watched your videos." And funny enough, one of them is my classmate right now. I am walking along the pathway. This is our back lot. This is our court. So in case you're wondering as well, every level we change our classrooms, and every level we change our instructors. So we typically get a break around 12.30 for snack and like 3 o'clock for lunch. And here's my best buddy Brady. Hello. It's been a year since we've known each other. And it's been quite a journey. This is the level one shop here. Say hi. Hello. That's Mr. Fournier. Okay. Very good. Here he is. All right, so here's my buddy Jackson and my Filipino buddy JR. And yeah, we're just going out for lunch because we, on level seven, we have a longer break. That's why we, you know, might as well go to Richmond Center. And this is the hub. This is the other side of BCIT. There's the library. Here's the calf. Oh yeah. Shout out 
Shop time. Hanger time. So we're hanging out in the gym. Jackson, uh, tell them your uh, Tagalog uh, words that you know. Oh, what? Patatas. Oh, there you go. JR approves. There's a cafeteria. Beep. You're just gonna injure yourself. No, I'm not. Look at your. Yo! <laughs> what what, 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 what up? <laughs> nice! You shut it out. It's not talking anymore. No, it's not, it's not hanging down to here anymore. <laughs> if you're trying to bring it up to like 220. Okay, but we're at 245 right now. Really? Yeah. Okay, mine's still going up. So try to bring it to 220. Hey Daniel, what's up? Hello, it's right there for what me. are you doing here? Yeah, it's right there. We're figuring out our altitude. Look at that airspeed. So, you guys working on the airspeed? We're observing for a minute. Hey Filipino Justin, kamusta? Salamat. This is an example of how hardworking we are here in BCIT. I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're under the engine, holding a. Is that a tack tester? Tack tester, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Are you guys done? No. This is me starting. What? No, like 10 freaking minutes. You're done? No, we're done with uh, one of the tasks. Just... Hello, Kevin. Oh, by the way, remember the classmate I told you? I told you? This is it. He watched my videos before. Yeah, of course, man. Kevin. Kevin Dam. This is one of the jets we recently acquired from Canada, Canada Air. So uh, smells quite new, or like I mean, like quite serviceable aircraft. We got a glass cockpit right here. Oddly enough, this is like a nah, 23 year old aircraft. It's the same age as I am. Now well, we're working on the jet commander. So yeah, this is typical life in BCIT, especially when you're level seven and like you have lots of time. You get to go out for lunch and you get to chill for projects because like the projects are most straightforward and they're not like building stuff anymore. Unlike level one, like when you, ha where you have to build cable clamps. Look at that. Anybody here? No? Okay, I'm by myself. I'm gonna go out now. If you're wondering, half of the day is for lecture, half of the day is for hangar, which is shop time, which is actually Practically doing the stuff we've just learned. Hey, Kevin. One of the most memorable levels, I would say, is turbine engines, just because we get to learn turbines. And we I, personally, I haven't like no clue on how jet engine works before. Break time. Ah, uh, we're just waiting for Alessio. He's somewhere else. I don't know. So yeah, level five was turbine engines. It was because. I literally have zero knowledge of how turbine engine works and like it was an eye opener for me personally. What else? Level 6 I think was the toughest level for AME category M program cuz helicopters I've never been a fan of helicopters and um I don't know it it's just one of those things where I'm not really in that interested. But yeah, it was an eye opener as well cuz like now I know a bunch of stuff for for heli helicopters, right? So yeah, I'm just, that's basically, I'm thinking of something else that I need to say, but... Yo, John, what's up? Oh, I let him know. So I did that procedure number eight. So there's uh, 112, 114. We're gonna check inside, we're gonna confirm if we have the same reading. Where is our tack? Holy smokes. Right here. It's moving. Left. That means the left needle is moving. That means left engine, right? Can you, uh, John? Can you uh, go to uh, 500 RPM, please? What's its reading right now? 117. Yeah, I go to 500. 
Okay, we got 500 RPM. Good. Look at these guys working on the JT8D engine. Way back. <laughs> What's up? This is like a 70 year old plane. It's actually five. Five year old plane? Yeah. Holy smokes. It belongs to WestJet before. So yeah, this is how what it looks like inside the 730 inside the 737 that was built 1971. Belonged to uh Southwest before and then last owner was WestJet and now it's here in BCIT. Let's look at the cockpit. So uh, that's basically it guys, uh, that's how usually our everyday life goes here at BCIT. We go for a lecture and we go for a practical, which is in the hangar. Now I'd like to top my day off since it's nice outside, I'm gonna go play basketball right here. So yeah, I chose the afternoon class just because, you know, I don't want to wake up early and that kind of stuff. So I'm not a morning guy as well always hated like waking up in the morning but yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog peace out thanks for watching